what's up guys? It's me, Tyler, here with a brand new video. First of all, I would like to say sorry that I haven't been posting for about a month or so. I just have had access to my editing program. It was pretty much impossible to make good quality videos, or however quality my videos are. I've also been working on the gaming room that I'm creating. I'm currently in it right now. It's not completely finished, but it's coming out very, very nicely. But today, I have a Black Ops 3 Zombies top five weapons video and i'm gonna be showcasing my personal top five favorite weapons in the game and what i think are the best weapons to use so let's get right to it enjoy the video right here in the number five spot we have the haymaker 12 which in case you didn't know is a shotgun. It is a semi-automatic shotgun. It is probably the best shotgun out of all of them though. It definitely has a very good feel to it and plus it could just take out zombies like it's nothing. Like right there, see it, I just obliterate them. And right here, I just take out this entire train. It's so amazing how much this can be useful and just how fast it can take out zombies. It is definitely something that I would recommend if you were looking for a shotgun or just a weapon to use. Let's get on to number four. Here in the number four spot, we have the ray gun. Now this is a little bit controversial, but the reason why I have it in the number four spot is mainly because it's not as good as it used to be. Back in Black Ops 1, and even a little bit in Black Ops 2, it was just the best thing, and it was just, it was OP. It could take out entire trains, and it was just, it was awesome. It was just rolling through zombies. It truly, it was amazing. It was probably the best wonder weapon in certain maps at the time. It definitely, it works well. It gets a job done, but it's just not as good as it used to be. Now, let's get on to the number three spot. Here in the number three spot, we have the Dingo. There's a couple reasons why I picked this light machine gun. One is it has the largest magazine. Two, it has, I believe, the fastest fire rate out of the light machine guns. Three, it has the fastest reload time, which when it comes to light machine guns, that is very, very handy. Now, unfortunately, I got down here because I didn't have speed cola which is very ironic how I just talked about fast reloading times and I died from reloading. Now, let's get on to the next one at number two. Now here in the number two spot, we have the KN44, which is definitely one of my favorite guns in the game. It's a wall weapon that you can buy off of the walls, and I believe there's been a couple times where I've gotten it from the box. It is very good. If you're aiming for the head, it will get the job done, definitely, as you can see right here. If you happen to play with it a lot, and you get attachments on it, like I have fast mag and laser sight and all these attachments, as you can see, that's why I'm reloading so fast. And if you're actually playing on the giant then it is right there on that wall and if you're playing on shadows of evil it is somewhere in the footlight district but it's a very good overall gun it has fast fire rate uh pretty nice magazine size and it's just a really really good gun let's get to the next spot Okay, now before I go to number one, I wanted to say a couple of honorable mentions. One of them is the Mana War. It has very good damage and decent fire rate. It definitely gets the job done. Number two is the ICR-1. It's very comparable to the KN-44, so it has around the same fire rate and the same damage, and it is definitely very good for that. Number three, I have the Locust, which is a sniper rifle. Surprisingly, it works really, really well, especially if you're on the Giant and you're on the Catwalk and you have friends defending you and you're in the back and you're shooting the zombies before they even get into the building. It works very, very well. Now here in the number one spot, I have the Dracon, which is another sniper rifle, surprisingly. The Dracon is probably the most OP gun in the game right now. So I definitely would recommend getting your butt on zombies right now, getting the Dracon before they nerf it or do something to it. It can take them out in one shot. It is collateral city whenever you use it. It's amazing. It's good for headshots, it has amazing damage, it's semi-automatic, it's perfect, especially if you upgrade it. I would definitely recommend getting this gun if you do ever get it from the box, grab it as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching this video. I did put a lot of hard work and dedication into it, so I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like down below and you subscribed. Just smack that subscribe button, teach it who's boss. So to finish it all off, thank you guys for watching. My name's Tyler, and it appears we have just lost the signal. Peace out.